Elizabeth Howell from space.com. Hi everyone, I think this question is from Mimi. If and when you get those first views from ingenuity and perseverance of the flight, what kind of feelings will it evoke in you? And also, are you planning to use Percy's microphones to record audio of the flight? All right, um, I'll give the first part and I am going to have Tim Canham also jump in. So the, the image is, uh, uh, it will be inspiring. It's really hard to imagine, uh, you know, how I'm going to feel because our team, to be frank, has never let ourselves celebrate fully uh, because we've been waiting for really this first flight on Mars. So I believe I'll be really excited to see. First and foremost, probably I'll be more excited about the black and white camera image uh, because uh, to me and a lot of majority of the team, you know, most all of the team, it's about this engineering technology demonstration. And getting back that engineering data on how well did it fly, because to me, it is about the future. It is about adding that aero dimension and do we model right? Is our analysis right? And more importantly, did we overlook anything and what do we learn? How differently did it fly over there? So the, for me, the black and white picture is gonna be invaluable coupled with the IMU data, altimeter data, and the inclinometer data all combined and how do we fly? Uh, and the color picture is going to be icing on the cake. So Tim, you want to chime in a little bit about how you're going to feel about seeing those camera images? Yeah, well, naturally the team's been working really hard to be ready for this moment. And so when we see that the data from that first flight and it works, it'll be an incredible moment, the culmination of all this work and all the hopes that we've put into it. And yes, Mimi's right. The primary purpose of this project is to get that detailed engineering data that we can see the performance of the vehicle and then that data can be used by future projects to make even bigger and better helicopters. But at the same time, getting a color image while in flight will be exciting for, from an outreach point of view. People will get to get that aerial view of what the helicopter is seeing, and it'll, it'll be amazing. You've seen that picture that we've had out. Can you imagine that picture being that nice 13 megapixel picture? We're seeing the dirt right now in essence. But as we go aloft to three meters and then eventually to five meters, getting that panoramic view of Mars from 15 meters up will be amazing. And there was a question about the microphone. SuperCam, the instrument has a microphone and we're not gonna do it on the first flight, but we're in discussions about subsequent flights, maybe using that camera microphone to point near, near where the helicopter is and try and get some audio. It's very touch and go as to whether we would even hear anything at that distance. But uh, as I said, discussions are ongoing. We might give it a try. Worst, worst comes to worst, we'll get a lot of nothing, but who knows? Maybe we'll catch the sound of the helicopter lifting off.